Stanley, Stanley, please talk to me, Stanley. Talk to me, Stanley, please, please. This is important, Stanley. Please, you don't understand. This is important to me. This is important to the, the to everything. S Stanley, please, please, Stanley, please. You you don't understand, Stanley. I need this. We need this. You need this. The whole world needs this. And um. Yeah. Hey everybody, it is I, Mr. Skids, and I am de-hatted today because you want to know why? No reason. I just didn't want to wear a hat today. I just took a shower, so I didn't want to mess up my luxurious hair. So maybe you my fans will get to see my luxurious hair that has been graying since I was the age of 17. But that doesn't matter, so let's begin the game once more. I have written down a few things that I might didn't want to forget, like, um... There was a few places I wanted to go that I had not gone yet. Uh, one of the major ones that I wanted to do today was actually go down into that downstairs area. And I might, uh, the game might be messing up right now because every time it loads, something bad happens usually. Um, <laughs> hopefully I don't have to mess with, with the, uh, with any more fucking settings. Hopefully it's not messing up. Please don't be messing up again. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I drank all my coffee. I'm begging you. Please, game. Please, please don't do this to me again. Please. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the prey symbol. The prey hand jester. And now it's some kind of like hand chop dance. Chop, 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 chop. Come on, you come on, boy. That's a good boy. Come on, boy. That's a good boy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good game? Who's a good game? Who's a good Stanley? Yes, we this, can, Yes, this is a story. we uh, we've heard the story about Stanley already. Okay, okay, I fixed the game. Hopefully, we won't get any more lag spikes. Game probably looks a little worse than before, but uh, well, let's see. Doesn't, it seems a bit more jagged to me, but I mean, with all my recording equipment and everything else taking up my CPU because my CPU isn't the best, it's good, but it ain't the best. So it's having a bit of a miss hissy fit every time uh, something big hit loads up. So here we go. First thing I want to do is go to the stairs. Actually, no, the first thing I want to go to is the broom closet because somebody told me I missed some dialogue at the broom closet. So, I'm gonna go there and I will see you in two seconds. One, two. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. There's an XD in there. What the hell? You even emoted in the goddamn subtitles. Goddamn it, game. Also, Stan is addicted to drugs and hookers. I'm addicted to drugs. All right, so now we are at that point where I actually should step back into the closet. Somebody told me I need to step back into the closet. More audio. You too. Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. <laughs> Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? <laughs> Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Oh, okay, I guess that's it. I totally missed that five seconds of audio. That was worth five minutes of waiting for five seconds extra audio. Okay, that was cool. Okay, okay. Now, let us act. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Now let's go downstairs and see what happens. I didn't go upstairs. I decided to go to the basement instead. Oh, red light. Anything underneath the stairs? No, there's never anything underneath the stairs. There should be. Most video games should be. Wait a minute. 
Why is there a but car Stanley here? He just couldn't do it. <laughs> he considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? That's why true. did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Ha! He yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently fall to the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a <laughs> magical star field, and it too <laughs> appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head <laughs> dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered <laughs> by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently <laughs> and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. Like George Shetson. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. What is normal? Nothing is I normal. I am okay. Normal is just a, is a fake object in society. And we're not awake. We. <laughs> Stanley began screaming. Uh oh. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Oh, oh please, oh, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? Oh, God, God. Thing went black. Ah! Black. Darkness. This is Dark. the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. 
And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It Are you was sure? comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important yeah. people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. That's what's wrong with society. That is what's wrong with society. You don't give anybody the time of day. Oh, hey, there! this crazy strange man just fell on the ground. I might call 911 for a brief few seconds, and then I gotta go do my job. Nah, don't give anybody the time of day you don't know. That's what's wrong with people. Don't be doing that, friends. Don't do that. That just... That leads to, um, as, uh, Pink Floyd once said, uh, the turning away. The, the leading of the turning of the way, uh, turning away. Uh, do, uh, turning away from the weak and the weary. Don't do that. Don't do that. As a society, we shouldn't be doing that. That just makes us alienated towards other people. So we feel less emotion towards other people. And it's not good. We weaken as a society if we lose that ability to care for other people that deserve to be cared for see now that little bit insightful information was brought to you by me mr skids now i think i'm gonna go back to that location and instead i am going to rush through that area instead of just like sitting around because i want to see what is beyond that because i just kind of stuck around that area for a little bit so i will see you in a bit be our beat Hey, 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 wait a minute, where's that? Where's the input? There's the input. Aw! Oh, Aw, oh, man, I fucked up! Hey, I fucked up. I missed my input when I should have put in an input. I think I screwed up. Nope. I'm faster than you. I am faster than you, voice. But Stanley just couldn't do it. Let's keep he going. The possibility oh, of his this boss, is different. Admitting he had left his post during this is different. Hours. He might be fired for that. And in huh? such a competitive economy, huh? why had he taken that risk? All because oh. he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Oh, and then something occurred so, to Stanley. Maybe it, it does make himself, sense that he uh, I am crazy. He ended All up my saying that we were going around in circles. I see why he said that now. Everything is circles. Oh my good God! It just goes around and around. Oh no! I'm going crazy. Yeah, he can't see my feet. Oh no! Okay. I guess that's what happens if you keep moving forward. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna skip to the end of this. The BR the bees guys, BR the bees, spis the final frontier, spis spis. Space. Wanna go to space? Space. Space. Wanna be space? Go space. 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 There's a voice in my head dictating my life. Cause I am Stanley. My name is Stanley, and I have a Stanley who stand lead my stand lead, and I stand lead him back. Stanley, mega 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 Stanley. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Gotta find a find a fire things. Yada 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 da da da. How else would the voice explain all that? The voice in my head won't shut the hell up. I woke up in a daze because this game forced me to wake up in a daze. Daze, daze, punchy punch, daze, 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 punchy punch, daze, daze. All I want is my life is normal. I am normal. Normal is subjugated Everything to society. There's no such thing as normal. I am Stanley. Black. 
Mark. That was completely pointless, so whatever. I am going to do... I am now going to turn on the mind control machine! And, again, I will be RB. Eee! Don't forget the input! Don't forget the input! Don't, don't, don't. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing <laughs> random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Truly! He stepped uh, in the newly opened passageway. Truly amazing. Truly fantastic. Felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring and I'm feeling a bit peculiar. And a little bit do 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 I in my and then I woke up sore, and I said, deadly breath, and I got real high, and I said, I started talking to myself, what's going on? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What yeah, yeah, you say it, yeah. Hold, Stanley thought to himself. Yeah, he you say it, yeah. To find out. I have the strength. I have... All of the strength to figure out what's going on. Turn on the cameras. Now the monitors jump to life. Their Wee. True revealed. Wee doggy. Of an employee Wee doggy. Stanley's co-workers. Ah, the ah, of so lags. Why is it lagging more now than before? And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this. It is lagging a lot today. I've noticed, even though I sh it's less. The fucking quality is less. This Why is it doing it? Facility. It was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Yes. The only no. Yes. You're under the control of the voice. The narrator controls you, Stanley. Break away, Stanley. In someone you're you're in a you're in a video game, lad. You're in a video game, lad. You can't escape. Your life is actually meaningless. But here was the proof. The heart God the damn it is laggy this time round. Wow. Why is it so laggy this time? Holy shit.